Timing is how long you play a note for and when you play it. If I play the exact same notes as Jingle Bells, but hold them for different lengths of time, it sounds like a completely different song. So timing is almost as important as the notes you're hitting. To help out with timing, it's useful to tap your foot in a constant, steady pace. By mastering changing notes in a smooth, even rhythm, even simple melodies can sound very good. Many guitar solos aren't that hard to play technically, and they still sound great because they're played so smoothly. In our next riff, we'll look a bit more into timing. Okay, let's try something new. In this riff, start with your first finger on the first fret of the third string this time. Play that once, then put your third finger on the third fret of the third string. You'll play that twice, then go back to the first fret. Listen to me, then try it out. This time though, we're gonna tap our foot in a constant even rhythm and play the note every time we tap our foot. It's much easier to play an even rhythm if you tap your foot too. It's a good habit of getting into, and it'll make your timing much better over time. To make tapping easier to keep track of, it's useful to count along. In music, we typically either count up to three or four along with our taps, and then start at one again. And then exercises from here on, I'm gonna count you in with either a one, two, three, or a one, two, three, four, and that will tell you how you can count along to the exercise. I'll show you what I mean in the next exercise. Something else you might notice is that for the most part, when playing the first fret, you should use your first finger. Your second finger on the second fret, your third finger on the third fret, and your fourth finger or pinky on the fourth fret. This is the same for all strings. Now let's try another riff. Just like the last exercise, you're gonna continue tapping your foot, playing one note each tap. This time, start on the first fret of the third string with your first finger, then move to the first fret of the second string with your first finger and play that twice. Then move back to the first fret on the third string. One, two, three, Four. Now here's a little trick to make this easier. Sometimes we can purposely be lazy with our fingers. When moving from one string to the same fret in a string above it, instead of moving your whole finger to the other string, you can just lay it down flat and fret it with the flat of your finger. This makes it easy to switch back and forth. Most of the time you wanna play with a curled finger on your fingertip, but I'm giving you permission this time to be lazy. Try that riff out with a new technique and move on once you can play that. You'll play the first riff twice, then the second riff, then back to the first riff one more time. One, two, three, four. And there we have it. That's the main instrumental riff of Closer by the Chainsmokers. It's played on a synthesizer in that song, but we can easily play the same riff on guitar because the notes are the same between instruments. The only thing that changes is the timbre or the sound of the instrument itself. Pretty cool, right? Just a few lessons in and you're already playing along to some real top pop songs. <laughs>